The criminals calling themselves the Phantom Thieves are no more. However, I believe that this country's citizens are still living their days in anxiety. These scandals only increase our distrust of the current government. As a citizen myself, I am enraged. Look who's talking. What does it mean to be a politician with responsibility? Working toward personal gain without consideration of the country is outrageous. Oh, the election's public notification is tomorrow. But no matter where I go, people are cheering for Shido. Everyone's being deceived so easily. Easily, though? Like, a lot of murders and psychotic breakdowns went into making that happen. I wouldn't say it was easy. Tried looking Shido's interviews up online. They all sound so fake. Checked his profile as well, but I couldn't find much outside of his title and education. He's currently 53 years old and has gone... He's 53! Yo. All evilness aside, my dude's looking pretty good for 53. And has gone from being a metropolitan assemblyman to a representative. Though he is a cabinet minister, he split from the ruling party to form the United Future Party. Shido's a cabinet minister? For real? He was specially appointed to the position. That's his current title. What does cabinet minister mean, chat? Is that like the same thing as being a senator? Or is that like being named secretary of state or something? Apparently he also won a contest for who people would most like to have as their boss. Yes. <laughs> Even the news site writes even the news sites write about him as though he's assured to become the Prime Minister. If only we could find out the meaning behind Shido's words. In order to save this country that has been tainted by villains, social reform is essential. Ugh. Oh hey. What's with all the love for Shido? Get no one knows the truth about him, but it still creeps me out. Oh, dude, check out- where did we get that? That's sick. That's nice. Can I go, like, do anything? Can I, uh, call Kawakami hey. for a massage? Alright. Uh... I mean, there's- there's nothing to do. <laughs> My stats are maxed, and I have no books. Let's play a video game. Let's just chill and relax and play a friggin' video game. Let's finish Punch Ouch. Okay. Start it up! Absolutely, I'm gonna use the trick. Makes sense, since you've learned how to. Let's do this. Oh. Our opponent is here. The fight's about to start. Weighing in at 240 pounds with a record of 30 wins. 23 coming by way of knockdown and only 5 losses. Now entering the ring, Mo Bryson! I'm here with you, kid. Remember your last fight? Now then. Hope you'll be okay. Just try not to lose too bad. Bryson comes out swinging. Our challenger is frozen with fear. Fear. Is this Mike Tyson, by the way? This is Mike Tyson. <laughs> He's wearing down your defenses. Just keep looking for an opening. What does he mean by that? Wait, this guy takes large swings. You might be able to get him if you attack during his punch animation. Why are you letting your guard down? Wait, I see now. You're on the right track, but can you really pull this off? Match his timing and land an uppercut. Easy. Challenger lands a savage uppercut. Bryson stumbles back. Now's your chance. Head in for the flurry! What a fervent flurry of fists! Bryson goes down hard. All right, the count's starting. Hope he doesn't get up. One, two. Ah, oh, Bryson's back on his feet and ready to go. That didn't last long at all. He's tough, all right. You're gonna have to give this your all. And by giving your all, I mean do the exact same thing all over again. Finish off with the flurry. Wrecked. That's gotta be enough to take Bryson down. No way, he's still standing. He's on the ropes though. Skirt around him and go for a body blow. Ah, ah! What, what is this? <laughs> He's done it. A furious body blow from our intrepid challenger. It's just too much for Bryson to handle. He's collapsed. Yes, the count's starting again. Please don't get up this time. Eight, nine, ten. He thought it, Bryson's down for the counter. Challenger wins. Wow! Crowd goes wild. Wow! Wow! You did it, kid. I always knew you had it in you. We narrowly won. Secret technique book helped, huh? You're always looking for the most efficient way to do things. I admire that about nice. you. You beat Punch Ouch. The passion you showed during your fight was so cool. Hmm. He's on it. Alright, let's enjoy this ending. 
So this manual says if you send in the password you see after the ending, you get a prize. Yeah, 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 I don't care. Nice. Nap time. I should put an end to the case. It's just like Shido-san said. Can't go wrong leaving things to Masayoshi Shido. Shido-san's gonna be in this election too, right? Politicians like him are promising. There's no real major equivalent in American politics to what Masayoshi Shido's uh, position is in the government. All right, that's fair. My fortune reading said that you're okay, but I'm still worried about you, so please let me know. I'm fun. I'm relieved to hear that. You appear to have avoided your destiny of death. However, I can't see anything past that. Please be extra careful. If you're unsure about anything, I'll be waiting at the usual spot. As your physician, I would like to confirm something. Please contact me as soon as you see this. And I'm still alive. Stop making me worried. I'm glad you're okay. I just got nervous when I saw the news. Well, I'll be at the clinic if you need any medicine. I probably do need to buy more reviving items, just in case. <sighs> it's nothing but the Phantom Thieves on TV. Oh, that's right. Aren't you all supposed to be gathering here today? Make sure you finish eating before everyone shows up. It's almost time for our meeting. I wonder if anybody has figured out the keyword. Last one. Diamond mine. <laughs> Diamond mine! No good. They came up with Diamond Mine before the actual answer. That blows me away. How many did we miss? He truly does have a barrier up. Right? Don't. Yusuke, don't do this. Don't don't let Ryuji think he might be right. That's not something to be excited about. We know all the way up to diet building, too. What do you mean all the way? We know two of three pieces of information. So you enter keywords into the metaverse navigator. Boss, can you turn the TV on? Shido might be on it. Sure thing. Goro Akechi. That's not Shido. Him and his stupid composed face. How dare he be so beautiful? So, Akechi-san, is it true you withdrew yourself from the media as part of your plan to capture the Phantom Thieves? I truly apologize for causing such a stir. Honestly, it required a lot of courage to openly oppose them when their popularity was at its peak. I mean... People often lashed out at me online and whatnot. Yeah, welcome to the internet. Then was it also your plan when you said they weren't at fault after their popularity declined? That was to catch them off guard. I could say I applied my profiling knowledge. Once they lost public support, someone they thought was their greatest enemy lent a hand. That's the same strategy used in romance, wouldn't you agree? Is Akechi coming on to all of us at once? That's gonna be one heck of a fanfic. Why is he being treated as an ace detective of justice? It's not just on TV or online. Newspapers, magazines. I see his face everywhere. On the other hand, no one's hoping for our comeback on the fan site. Like, at all. Only like 2%. Phantom thieves are evil. Shido and Akechi are just. It should be the other way around. They're manipulating information using the media. Leaving Akechi aside, we'll get back at him later. Our main issue is Shido. Were there any instances before when you didn't know the palace keywords? Well, there was the time with Futaba. We didn't know anything about her, so all we could do was make conjectures. Then why don't we just go directly and see Shido? That's impossible. He's surrounded by bodyguards and followers all the time. There's no way high school students can get an appointment with him either. Well, we do have an adult with us. No, that's still impossible. 
Besides, that's too dangerous a method. <sighs> well, this is a problem. It's with a ruckus outside. To everyone gathered before Young and Dyer Station. What are the odds? Isn't that an election campaign car? I wonder whose election campaign car could be. Oh right, the candidates are currently campaigning. That voice. I apologize for the commotion. I am Masayoshi Shido. Wait, did he just say Shido? Yeah, he did. I have come to this location because I hear that the plot is having trouble progressing. Therefore, I am here to ensure that the plot can indeed progress. Man, if only Akira had shoved him harder to where, like, his brain cracked. Sounds like the same voice I heard back then. Mm -hmm. Man, talk about being lucky. <laughs> we can go check him out without an appointment now. Hey, Ryuji ran off toward the station. This way. Hurry. By the way, did something happen? You didn't seem well a moment ago. Yeah, just me being me. Are you now is the time to rebuild this crumbling nation. Our government is littered with scandals. And criminals have taken a strong foothold in our society. Such a disgraceful past must be discarded. We must set sail into a new future of dreams and hope. You guys are just going to stand here? Am I, I'm eavesdropping on my friends right now. <laughs> Help Ryuji doesn't try anything. We will be counting on. We'll you. stand out too much if we all go together. Please investigate on your own, Akira. <sighs> so the one behind the death of Haru's father may be out there. Please check it out, Akira. Uh, I'll just wait here and bide my time. So our children who carry the burden of the next generation can be proud of their country. So our nation can once again become a powerful one with abundant wealth and luxury. So our beautiful home will be acknowledged as the best country in the world. Go, 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 go. I humbly ask that you cast your vote for me, Masayoshi Shido. Let us all set sail toward a happy future together. I hope to continue serving you all. Is that the guy? You guys wait here. I'll go get intel for us. Wait! Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Marukami, thank you for following. Hey! Yo, Shido-san! Stand back. I just want to talk to him for a sec. He's a busy man. The hell? Ain't he supposed to hear a citizen's comments? I want to talk to you about the time you stole my elevator. That's enough, Brad. You're that asshole we met at the hotel before. At the elevators. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. So you can butt in front of other, other people, people if you're, you're in a hurry? hurry, hurry. What are you talking about? That moron. Come on, stop. But these guys... Hey, kid. You don't want to know what happens when you cross me. That voice. It seems the customer face has changed since I was here last. Have they started a daycare? Hey, the show. Get lost, kid. I will admit, that one right there, that's a sick burn. This man. This man, he stole Ryuji's elevator. There's no mistake, he's the same man as the one from before. What are you looking at? Those are some really nice shades. This country is filled with clueless children. I worry for Japan's future. Let them go. My next appointment is coming up. <sighs> what a piece of shit. So what do you think after seeing him in person? 
He's why I got arrested. Wait, he's the jerk you told us about before? Yeah, about seven or eight months ago, the guy who was for two and a half years, or at that time, about two years, constantly causing scandal after scandal, mental shutdowns, basically pulling the most ridiculous and biggest heist in Japan's history, risked it all by getting drunk and trying to rape a woman. Yes. The same guy? For real? Seriously? What are the odds? You're sure, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, it sounds really convenient to the plot, so I'm sure it's true. Shido's the one who ruined your life. I want to make this clear. Just like the pancake thing, I don't think that this is bad writing, necessarily, or that it's, like, bad. I, I don't dislike the game because of this. I think it's really neat that Shido was the dumb idiot who tried to assault a woman, and then we stopped him, and now we find him in. I actually really like it, but it just sounds so ridiculous on paper. I can't help but say, like, man, it's hilarious. Believe it. <sighs> Let's get going, okay? Shido's the guy who set you up? What kind of fate brought you two back together? We call it the plot. I want to know myself. Talk about a destined connection. Shido was involved in the cognitive research too, right? This can't be dismissed as just a coincidence. God, what the hell's going on here? Shido was already a politician then, yet he sued a student and ruined his future? He must have pulled some strings so that his name wouldn't be mentioned. Furthermore, he also would have had to force that woman into making a false statement. He would do anything. We're talking about a man who ordered a hit inside the police station. He can't sit still until he crushes whoever opposes him, no matter how trivial. He's always been that way. What a piece of shit. Children are the future, my ass! What he's saying and doing are completely different! But now that we found out who did it, can't something be done about his record? Once the courts have made a judgment, overturning that decision will be difficult. It'd barely be possible even if proof of innocence is presented and Shido admits to his crimes. At any rate, we need to trigger a change of heart in him. Be that as it may, Shido's outer appearance and his true face are wholly different. It's beyond hypocritical. It's as if he's an entirely different person. He speaks about the good of the country. It makes me wonder what really is on his mind. That man's full of ambition to rise in the world. He only thinks of the weak as stepping stools for his success. He treats himself as an elite man while looking down on others. <sighs> That's the worst. I assume the keyword for what he believes the diet building is will be despicable too. It must be something self-centered and completely different from politics. Someone like him needs to be punished as soon as possible. Let's head to the diet building again right after school tomorrow. I feel we'll get it this time. <sighs> Stewing over it won't get anywhere. We have to do this. The guy behind everything turned out to be your arch enemy. What an oddly poetic twist. Mm, yeah. Oh yeah, those clothes you'd stand out if everyone else is wearing their school uniforms. Might be a good idea to wear your uniform when you head out. Yeah, whatever. Can I, like, do anything? Specifically, can I call Kawakami or no? Hey. Alright. Well, time to play another video game. Yes. <laughs> I got nothing else to do. Curse you, cat. Uh, let's, let's play, uh... Oh, well, I've got two more on the golfing video game. Let's do that.